my fellow Indians, my brothers and sisters. This message is for all of you peace-loving Indians who believe in a united, secular and democratic India. Because that is the India that we hold close to our heart. But there are some people who want to destroy that concept. There are some people who don't want to treat people as Indians. They want to treat them as Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Dalits. You know, they want to destroy the very fabric of our country. Do not let them do that. These Hindutva forces conducted an event in Haridwar. Look at what they did. They called for a genocide against our Muslim brothers and sisters. How can we allow this to happen? And this ruling government is enabling that. No action is being taken. They are free to call for a genocide of an entire community. Millions of people. Our brothers and sisters, are they not? You can say they don't speak for me. I'm a Hindu, but they don't speak for me. Yes, all Hindus are not like that. Yes, I understand that. But I guarantee you, all Hindus, I mean, all Muslims and Christians in this country are living in fear. They are the rightful sons and daughters of this country. How can they be alienated? How can they be terrorized like this? And how can we allow that to happen? Our silence emboldened these Hindutva terrorists. And that is what they are. They are terrorists. Make no mistake about it. Let's not sugarcoat it. These goading media, these naval lint of journalists who call themselves as journalists, these shameless human scum are spreading this hatred. They're spreading this venom. They don't want unity. They don't want peace. They want a Hindu Rashtra. Who are these RSS people to even ask for a Hindu Rashtra? They claim Sadar Patel to be their leader. They claim Bhagat Singh to be their leader. Sadar Vallabhai Patel banned RSS, called it a terrorist organization. RSS didn't participate in the freedom movement. They didn't participate in the Quit India movement. Instead, they wrote mercy petitions. Their leader, Savakar, wrote mercy petitions. They didn't raise the tricolor of India in their office for 50 years after independence. And how dare you preach us about patriotism? What do you know about patriotism? Huh? What do you know about India? Nothing. You want a Hindu Rashtra over our dead body. You cannot terrorize my Christian and Muslim brothers and sisters. We will not allow that to happen. Our silence is emboldening them. And majority Hindus who love a peaceful country, stand up. Speak up. Support our Muslims and Christian brothers and sisters. Don't let this happen to them. Can you imagine what they are going through? Their family is going through, wondering if they will live, if they go out. Wondering what kind of terror awaits them. This is not the country that we hold dear. But there is hope. If we all come together, there is hope. We cannot give up on each other. Our forefathers didn't fight for a country like this. They fought for a unified country. And to these communal forces, these religious terrorists, this government who enables them, let me tell you this. We are not afraid of you. We are not afraid of your sedition cases. We are not afraid of your police. We are not afraid of your guns. We will fight for this country. We will fight for a united country, a loving country. A country that has so much potential for love and humanity. We will not give up. And we will not allow you to victimize our Muslim and Christian brothers and sisters. This it's a solemn pledge. This is a promise that I make to everyone in India. And I know there are millions of you sitting there frustrated with what is going on. Come out to the streets. Protest against this. Raise your voice. Because this is how Nazi Germany killed 6 million Jews. Alienated an entire community. Because the rest of the community, the rest of the people in Germany kept quiet. Let's not make the same mistake. Let's not be in the wrong side of history, my dear brothers and sisters. We will fight for what is right. We are the descendants of Bhagat Singh and Gandhi and Patel and Sarojini Naidu and Sivaji and Ambedkar and Periyar and Tipu Sultan. We are proud of all these people. We are proud of our heritage, our multicultural heritage, our multi-regional, religional heritage. Let's not give up on that. So stand up, fight against these fascist forces, fight against these communal forces in a peaceful way and fight for this nation because we are worth it. And I love all of you unconditionally. Jai Hind.